Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the session. Uh, now let's move on to the uh, next topic, which is issue of shares payable in installments. Okay, now I have taken an example. Let's go through the example and let's try to record this particular transaction. Okay, AG PLC offered 100,000 ordinary shares at $10 per share on the following terms. $3 on application, $2 on allotment, and $5 on the first and final call. The issue was fully subscribed and all payments received as scheduled. Prepare the necessary journal entries and the ledger accounts to record this transaction. Okay. Now, the company has issued how many uh, shares? 100,000 uh, shares, number of shares. And the nominal value of a share is $10 per share. And this $10 is not collected in full. Rather, this $10 is collected in installment basis, in stages. So, what are the terms? Okay, first, uh, $3 on application. At the time of submitting the application, the applicants are required to, uh, uh, what do you call, deposit $3 on application. Then, uh, at the time of allotting the shares, okay, so that will be, uh, that will be uh, $2 on allotment of shares. Then, uh, the third one is the uh, $5 on the first and final call. So, these are the, uh, what you call, stages uh, on which the $10 is collected, okay? So, uh, in a situation like this, okay, rather than collecting the money in full, which is $10, the money is collected, cash is collected by the company in installments. In such a situation, what you need to do is, as and when the money is received on these stages, okay, the company will have to record that particular transaction. Okay? So this is what you need to do. Uh, let's move on to the uh, double entries to record this particular transaction. So first of all, uh, the company will receive the application money, which is $3. Okay, uh, on 100,000 shares. So what you need to do is you need to debit the bank account uh, $300,000. Then credit application and allotment account $300,000. Okay, so upon receiving this money, what you can do is you can transfer this money to the ordinary share capital account. So therefore, what you can do is you debit application and allotment account uh, 300,000 and credit ordinary share capital account 300,000. Okay? Then uh, uh, the second uh, installment is uh, uh, $2 on allotment of shares. So, company will receive $2 per share on 100,000 shares. So, what you need to do is you need to debit bank account for 200,000 then you need to credit application and allotment account 200,000 okay so since you have received the money so what you can do is this amount also can be transferred to the ordinary share capital account okay so therefore you debit application and allotment account 200,000 and credit ordinary share capital account 200,000. Okay? Finally, the company will receive $5 on the first and the final call. So, this is a final call. So, $5 per share times 100,000, which will be 500,000. So, when the company receives cash, company will debit bank account 500,000 and bank will credit uh, first and the final call. First and the final call account will be credited 500,000, okay? Then eventually, the first and the final call will be transferred to the ordinary share capital account. So finally, uh, the entire amount of 500,000 will be debited to the first and final call and it will be credited to the ordinary share capital account, okay? Now, let's try to record this uh, particular transaction in the ledger accounts, okay? So these are the journal entries that you need to pass. 
Then let's move on to the uh, retail accounts now. Okay, so you need to have bank account. This is the bank account. Then we have application and allotment account. This is the uh, first and final call account. Then finally we have to have the ordinary share capital account. Okay? Okay, so first of all, we'll record the, the application money received, which is uh, 300,000. Okay, so 300,000 will be debited here. 300,000 will be debited. And application and allotment account will be credited. The bank account. Okay. Then this, uh, whatever the amount in the application and allotment account, will have to be transferred to the ordinary share capital account. Okay. So this is the ordinary share capital, 300,000 and ordinary share capital account will be credited, application and allotment 300. So application money uh, is recorded in full. Now second uh, installment is the allotment which is $2. So when the money is received by the company, uh, company will debit the bank account 200,000 and application and allotment account will be credited. Uh, the bank 200,000 now again uh, this entire money will be transferred to the ordinary share capital account so therefore you need to debit the application and allotment account ordinary share capital ordinary share capital account will be credited application and allotment 200,000 okay so finally uh, the company will receive the the, uh, the, uh, the first and the final call which is $5 per share times 100,000 shares which is 500,000. When the money is received, the bank account will be debited with 500,000. This is first and the final call account. So this will be transferred to the first and the final call account which is uh, the bank 500,000. Then Eventually, the entire amount received uh, on first and final call will be transferred to the ordinary share capital account. So this is the ordinary share capital account, will be transferred 500,000. So uh, first and the final call account 500,000. Okay. So thereby, these accounts will be zero. Eventually, your bank balance will be how much? One million balance carried forward 1 million and okay this is the debit balance and ordinary share capital account also will have a credit balance of 1 million okay so this is how you record uh, when shares are uh, payable in installment basis okay in stages okay so this is a very basic uh, question that we discuss okay now let's move on to a bit complicated uh, question uh, where the shares are payable installment with a premium and if the shares are oversubscribed in such situation how the transaction will impact the general entries and the ledger accounts. Okay? So we'll move on to the uh, next session. In that session I will be discussing uh, that particular topic. Okay? So thanks for watching. We'll, uh, we'll see you soon again.